did say Panama right there. I don't know where it went. But anyway, this is Panama. It is one of the, well, it's not the smallest, but it is one of the smallest states in Central America. And ironically, Panama is also its capital. Panama is located in the middle of the American, oh sorry, <coughs> the American continent. Um, east lies, east lies Colombia, and the west is Cuba. Oh no, Costa Rica, sorry, <laughs> and the Atlantic Ocean. It is 100% tropical with temperatures around 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The capital of Panama is Panama. Isn't that ironic? that Mexico is the same way. Panama is muy bonito. It is magnifico city. Panama is muy popular because vacaciones are in abundance at these grand plazas. Panama is muy pequeño. Okay. So right here, this is the isthmus on, I forgot which side it was, but it's the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. So, Panama is situated on Isthmus, and it connects to South America and Central America. Panama has white sandy beaches on both sides, um, a whole bunch of islands, and usually the islands that they have have a whole bunch of trees on them. And it's truly an amazing place. If we didn't have Panama, we wouldn't be able to connect Central America and South America together. This is their flag, um, and I didn't have their code of honor because I didn't find it, but yeah, this is their flag, and I liked that face. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, Volcan de Chiriqui, is that how you pronounce it? Um, Chiriqui. Chiriqui, okay. All right, so most of the climb is upwards. Uh, there's a cliff near the summit where the incline is almost of 90 degrees, but a bit a beginner can do it, so so can you. Uh, the best time to climb this massive mountain, I spelled that wrong, is in the summer. That's when it's dry and not slippery. The months of the months of March to August <coughs> are the best times. Um, also, right there it says advantage. Um, if it is a clear day, an amazing thing that you can do, besides be proud of your hike up there, um, is that you can see both sides of the oceans, or both the oceans. Traveling. Some people travel by bus, by car, just walking around, trains. This train passes the Panama Canal, and motorbikes. And these are their little party buses that they get on for tours. There's some people driving, and there's these nature walks and everything, and you can go on those. And some of them have races on that, or just... The Panama Canal. This is one of the most famous things in Panama. Um, as you know, they had, well, I don't know if you know, but uh, these are the locks. The door is open and the water rises up and they go through. And right here is actually a video and it's pretty cool. I found it. That was pretty awesome. Uh, the Panama Canal is one of the best attractions to visit in Panama. People usually line up for tickets just to travel on this great voyage. And there are people who get up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning just to watch them go through it. And I don't know if clicking on it usually works. I couldn't get to work. Nope, but you ready? Okay. Let's see if it works. And if it doesn't, you can just like go to the PowerPoint and. Yeah. Um, but I searched for a long time trying to find a video because. I found one, but it was on, oh, that's my references. Okay, let's. Yeah. But um, I searched a long time for the video because I actually found one, but it was a part of another thing, which was an hour and something minutes. I only wanted the very beginning, so I found this instead. Yeah, sorry it didn't work. <laughs> <coughs> uh, first one. 